undefeated Boston College, their highest national ranking ever. The Heisman Trophy, perhaps, all manner of things. With three minutes and 40 seconds resting for Boston College, trailing by one point for the Mountaineers of West Virginia. And there is nobody out there on this field in a Boston College uniform that has ever beaten West Virginia. Here's the blitz again. Third and four. They got eight people up there. They drop four off. The pass is away, and Dieselman can't quite pull it down. A sophomore in the secondary because of injuries to Curtis and Daniels. So it's a makeshift secondary out there for West Virginia right now. And fourth and four, BC will go for it. Goodness gracious, they either going to fake the blitz. No, they're coming out of it this time. Moody's got time. Directing traffic. Passes away. Pass is good for a first down. Caught by Troy. His team trails by one on first down. The blitz is coming. They've got him. Smalls again. You cannot fake a run against a nine-man blitz and pick everybody up. Flutie did not anticipate it. He had to change the play. Look at the top of the screen. Look how many black shirts are lined up. You cannot block them all. Small is untouched. You cannot block him. They, they blocked the men nearest to him, but they couldn't block them all. He, Flutie made the mistake of not checking out into a quick pass. You cannot throw a play-action pass against that run. That's a third sack, but there's been an awful lot of harassment to go with three sacks. Now he's changing the play. Second down, and looks like about 22. Little wing out here to Stratford, who is hit and brought down by Mike Scott. No, it is uh, Van Richardson that makes the tackle. Number 37, a backup linebacker. Well, they've got to go, what, 25 yards on two downs. Well, they've got very little chance to pull this game out. What a comeback. What a comeback for that man's team right there. He said it had time. The game is not over. I don't know who believed it. I didn't much believe it. But his team. Flutie's going to use another timeout. There's a small amount of depression hanging over the Boston College side of the field right now with only a minute and 48 seconds to play in the football game. And West Virginia leading 21 to 20. And Boston College now has only one timeout. Jack McNell has never beat West Virginia. Third down at about 24. Flutie's pass is away. Coming back for it is Kelvin Martin. Out of bounds. It is incomplete. Fourth down. Possibly at stake right here. What a comeback. What a comeback. College football. One half goes to Boston College. One half to West Virginia. Fourth down. A minute 42 to play. Passes away. Gieselman downfield. Can't get it. has a pretty good chance on this. Flutie throws it up for scrambles right there. It's just about a yard too long. All West Virginia has to do now is run out the clock. Boston College has one timeout left. 25 seconds to put each play. They can probably force it. If you use one at timeout, they can force the punt or at least the fourth down play. Nope. Well, they just spin it right there. The last time out for Boston College with a minute and 24 seconds to play in the game. Well, there's the depression on one side. There is nothing but joy on the blue and gold side. With 1.24 to go, Boston College, no timeouts remaining in the ball game. 
West Virginia storming back from a 14-point deficit to take a one-point lead. John Gay carries on second down and four, and he's about two yards short of the first down, and the clock now is rolling. It's remarkable, but there are just simply, in the lore of college football, some places, some teams that are difficult to beat. And for Jack McNell and Boston College, West Virginia is the thorn. If it just happens as you suggested, because some teams just feel like they can win the other game. They play better. They play over their heads. Uh, better than they have all year long, but the game plan was just outstanding. Bootleg. Bootleg by White. And he's got a first down, and that will seal it for sure. Keith, you've got to give credit to a lot of people, but the play of White, the quarterback, in this second half, a senior who had, had not started the two games as a sophomore when Hostetler was hurt, comes in, leads his team to their sixth win of the season, and what you have already properly said was a, supposed to be a rebuilding year for West Virginia. Don Nealon and his staff, his team, the West Virginia fans, just outstanding. Well, he was what what, 10 team. out of 12, wasn't he, in the second half? Yes. Something like 165 yards. We've got an injured player being helped off the field. This ABC Sports exclusive brought to you by Goodyear. Say hello to Goodyear's Vector, the new design in radio tires. By Chevrolet, who invites you to see today's Chevy. Drive today's Chevy, live today's Chevy. By Sharp Electronic Corporation, from Sharp Minds, come Sharp Products. And by GMAC, the financing people from General Motors. do is fall on the ball one snap yep and then just wait in the huddle they should not run any play just fall on the ball stay in the huddle where did the game get away from boston college they could not pick up the blitz the blitz the second half you know we talked about earlier don't give fluity the one look that's all he got in this second half he did not his team did not score boy is that some class act what a great player he is he didn't diminish his chances i don't think much at the at the Heisman Trophy. He had a essential first half. He had very little protection in the second half. Good strategy, Keith, the way I see it. Yep. Good strategy. Yep. What did Don Nealon say at halftime? We're going to have a good time, meaning we go out and chase it and see what happens. All right, now listen to this homecoming crowd. SMU and Boston College, numbers four and six respectively. It could well be there is no dominant team, no team that can go all the way without some kind of a mark on its record this year. Some people think the Washington Huskies have a very good chance to do it out in the Pac-10, and they may very well have that opportunity, perhaps the best chance at it of any team in the country. But today, it was Boston College and SMU falling for the final score here in Morgantown, West Virginia. The Mountaineers 21, Boston College 20. Travel arrangements made through, promotional fee paid by United Airlines. You're not just flying, you're flying the friendly skies. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports. It will be a joyous night in Morgantown, West Virginia. The hills will ring with...